Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am very excited to go over some big changes that are happening in the movie room. So like I said, guys, some big changes are going to be happening here in the uh, movie room. Uh, for starters, you might notice that these two shelves are completely empty. Uh, if you remembered, I had my uh, favorite directors. Uh, all of their films were down here. I was running out of space. I had actually some a little bit of a pile up on the floor over here. And so I kind of fixed that problem. Uh, I also had some box sets up here and this was getting a little crowded and so i kind of kept it now criterion the one arrow set and then other two criterion sets uh, so i, I kind of revamped that uh, also uh, i don't know if i've ever actually showed this in the last video i rearranged i when i put the uh, all the vhs or i guess it wasn't the last video but one of the videos i when i put all the vhs here I rearranged all my horror box sets, and so now it's the first row is all horror box sets, and up top, and even way up there in the rafters, I actually uh, ran out of space, so I have a few sets way up there, but, um, so that's new, I guess. Uh, around the corner, it's actually much, much more um, messier, but uh, for starters, all of my Stephen King books are on the ground because... Uh, I put film trailers up here. Uh, so originally I built this shelf a uh, long, long time ago. I built this uh, specific shelf for Stephen King books. Uh, and I designed it to be pretty strong. Um, and I wanted it to, uh, put, or to put Stephen King books, but I decided to uh, swap out the Stephen King books with uh, some film trailers. Uh, and I'll show you where these were and why I decided to move them. So uh, I think this looks a whole lot better. I think I can actually look at what I have here and it's not so uh, buried. One thing with this room that I was really, I really, really wanted was nothing was behind anything. So there wouldn't be any like two layers of anything. So this is all single layered on all of these so I can actually see what I have. Not that I have any means to watch these, but I think it's just really cool to check them out. Uh, I also got rid of some duplicates of film trailers. I had like a small box of just like the exact same copy um, of the film. So uh, there are two different versions, I guess. Um, there's flat and scope. Um, I think that has to do with audio, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not, I it might, uh, no, because scope, it might have to do with the way that it's like projected. Don't quote me on that. I don't know a whole lot about film like actual stuff like that but uh, i kept both of the flat and the scope versions of the films but like i would have two copies of kill bill just say, uh, two copies of Kill Bill scope, uh, you know, trailer one, they're both two minutes and 30 seconds and I'd get rid of one basically. Um, obviously right next to it, this is the teaser for, uh, Kill Bill and this is the trailer. But anyways, that's, uh, that's what I did there and they all barely fit. Actually, I had to end up putting a few up there on the, uh, the I beam that runs through the, uh, the basement. So that's what I did there. Um, now over here, the, the movie room is kind of a mess right now. Um, I have my tube TV sitting on the floor here. I have the speaker that it was sitting on over there. Uh, so this is all VHS that I'm going to be probably getting rid of. Uh, this is about half the collection of my VHS tapes. I decided just to go through it and just really curate it and really ask myself, you know, if I saw it at a thrift shop for like a quarter or honestly, even like 
you know, free, would I actually be excited to get it? Uh, is it actually adding value to my collection? So I went through anything that I didn't think that was really adding value or stuff that um, I just didn't really care to, about watching anytime soon or really ever. I just put in a big pile. Uh, some of the stuff I might just throw on the TV when I'm working in here just so I can, um, you know, just see if it's something I'm even remotely interested in. Uh, also, I'm getting rid of my best picture winner VHS tape. So that's what these three rows right here are. These are all the like best picture winners that I have that I also have like over there. So I yeah I don't really need them on VHS as well because I all I have them all on DVD or Blu-ray. So that's what those are. They're probably all going to be going. Um, and so this this changed a little bit. Um, this bottom row and part of this row became movies that I had on uh, DVD as well. So uh, the other side is like movies that I have on DVD or Blu-ray and this also just mainly just for the artwork. I just think it's kind of cool. Um, I might have to go through all of this again. I didn't really do too much on this side. I'm definitely keeping all my James Bond VHS, but some of these like CBS Fox or RCA Video or MGM um, like collector or collection like movies, all of those I need to go through. I might be getting rid of some of those. So by getting rid of about half the VHS tapes, that allowed me to do this. Uh, if you remember, this whole side was all VHS all the way down. And there was a shelf running across that was all VHS as well. Uh, if you want to know how that looks, I do have a video going over my whole movie room collection. So you could go check it out and then come back, I guess, see what I did differently. Um, but this allowed me to do all my favorite directors. And I think I just like it how they're just like displayed nicer. They don't feel as like packed um, all the way down to the ground. And I feel like I can actually see them. And I actually like appreciate, you know, different works by different directors. Uh, I did also add, um, I added Dario Argento to my favorite directors section. I'm still missing about 13 of his films, but all of the ones that I have seen, um, I absolutely love. And so with this collection, I feel like the, the way I usually do it is... If it's a director that I seek out their movies solely because or based off of them be, like as the director, uh, I do pretty much consider them to be one of my favorites. Uh, I guess like Nicholas Winding Refn is an example. Uh, when I saw Drive, I immediately sought out anything else that the like that he's made. Obviously, I'm missing three of his movies, but um, yeah. So I like all the other ones. Like I like all of these. Uh, movies but that's kind of how I base it and it's also just directors that I really do enjoy watching um the other thing that kind of changed this is my director's VHS tapes now I might be going through these and getting rid of some of them just because if I have the movies like I have a bunch of Alfred Hitchcock VHS but I also have them all on DVD or Blu-ray up there so it doesn't really make sense to have duplicates of those uh, some of them, like Taxi Driver on VHS, obviously I have it on Blu-ray over there, but the VHS of Taxi Driver is kind of cool. Uh, same thing with like some of the Quentin Tarantino stuff. And these are just like, it's a collection of like a Hollywood romance or something. Uh, so I have a few of those, but I didn't really know how to put those, but I might be getting rid of some of the uh, director's VHS. I don't know. Uh, and same thing for this shelf here. This is all Western, like Westerns. Uh, so I need to go through those and decide if I want to keep all of those. And yeah, I don't know. Another thing that small, I mean, the very small thing changed. These laser discs were over here. Uh, I decided to move those out because I would like to. The next thing that I want to go through is all my laser discs. I don't really particularly in like buy laser discs like I used to. I used to buy pretty much if it was on Laserdisc and cheap enough, I would buy it. So I basically want to go through all of the Laserdiscs and decide, same thing with the VHS, if it's a movie that I actually care about, keep it. If it's a movie I'm never going to watch, why own it? So I'm trying to curate that collection as well. Uh, the only Laserdiscs that I really buy anymore are Horror or Criterion. and Or unless if it's a movie that I really uh, like, I guess. Um, but 
yeah, I need to curate that whole collection as well. I'll eventually get around to that. <clears throat> and then over here, my wife did a fantastic job of reorganizing these three shelves. I let her, you know, design it however she wants. And so uh, this is what she came up with. And I'm very happy with it. I think it looks really, really good. Uh, up top is uh, some VHS. There's a, like, I think it's a, like, Japanese, uh, like, I guess, uh, it's not, it says trilogy, but it's actually all six films. Uh, beta, VHS, VHS, VHS. Um, and then down here, just CED, Laserdisc, VHS, more VHS, and film. And then down here, it's just Blu-ray, DVD, 4K, uh, and, yeah, so... That's what my Star Wars collection is. I think it's just nice, like, it's much nicer to look at. It's nicely displayed. Uh, and honestly, this might be changing with... I might be getting rid of these movies. I have, like, the sequel movies, I guess. The sequel trilogy. Uh, I might be keeping one copy, but getting rid of the rest. I haven't quite decided. I might make a video on that later, so... Um, and then down here, small changes, but I reorganized the film. Obviously, the 35mm film trailers are over on the other shelf. There were some up here, and then there were some down there. And so I just basically put 8mm here and more 16mm there. And that's also 16mm down there. So just trying to make this look nicer, not as crowded, and um, you can actually see what I have. Then down here is just all the CEDs. I added a couple from the other, the haul that I did the uh, other day. And so then this is all the VHS that I have. Uh, this is my, besides horror VHS or box sets or clamshells up in the rafters and stuff like that. But this is the, the majority of my VHS are all on one side. And I like it. I think it's it's much more like I can actually see what I have. Um, as I was going through them, I, I kind of forgot I had some of them. And so I went through pretty much every single movie. And I'm like, if this is something that I am like actually really excited to check out someday, I am adding it to this side. So that is all the VHS that I have now. Uh, the director's VHS, they were up here uh, where this was like the two, uh, TV was right here. And so the director's VHS were up, kind of tucked back there. I'm going to try to keep that open back there. I might hang like a little picture or something. But uh, so I I don't really like having things back there because they're like, I mean, I can't reach back there. So uh, and then this right now, it looks really messy. Um, but this is all kind of to be fixed. Uh, we recently had uh, some several storms, actually. And so... Uh, it's just been really, like, a lot of water. We also lost power, and so um, a lot of water has been, you know, outside. And I just wanted to take my little cover off, make sure everything is working down there properly, because there was a lot of water uh, being moved around uh, outside. And so uh, I, it was a little damp in there, so I have a dehumidifier that I basically am just trying to clean up as much, as much moisture as I can Um and the 35 millimeter film trailers were down here as well. And the reason why I moved them over there is way back in the corner. So these were two layer deep. Um, way back in the corner, one of the film trailers actually got pretty like damaged from just moisture. Uh, if you are familiar with uh, film at all, uh, film will eventually decay. Uh, just because of the chemicals that are within the actual um, film itself. And so the because it was kind of tucked away in the corner, there was like three of them that got really bad. Uh, but one in particular was really, really bad. Uh, but because of the moisture from the sump pump and how it was just kind of tucked away in the back without any kind of airflow, uh, it, it, pr it got pretty gross. Um, unfortunately, there's really nothing you can do about it. And so... I figured I would like to try keep those as nice as possible. And so, like, I am going to try figure out this uh, moisture situation uh, better. But for now, VHS are going down there. I cleaned it all out, and VHS are good to be down there. But that is pretty much it. Obviously, this is the biggest uh, change with just all of these are potentially going. And... Um, I think I had like a thousand VHS. So this is like 500 VHS tapes or so. 
And so I'm really excited because I'm just, I, I know they're not worth anything, but I'm just excited to have the space. Uh, I honestly, I love how this looks. I'm like, I, I'm excited to add to the directors that I don't have their movies for. And so like the Dario Argento, I'm like, I've already been like looking into, you know, which of his films that I'm missing. And uh, I'm like, I just love how I have, like these directors sets, I guess, like Alfred Hitchcock, obviously Stanley Kubrick. That's Drive for Nicholas Winding Refn, like Tarantino Collection, and like Twin Peaks for, you know, David Lynch. Uh, and so I'm just very excited about how that all looks. And I think it'll look really good once I'm all done and once I kind of go through this stuff. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I do need to figure out what I'm doing with all these Stephen King books. I might take them up into my office uh, and find a home for them there. But um yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's pretty much all uh, that's been going on over the last week or so. Uh, we lost power like twice in the week. And so pretty much I had my studio lighting down here because there was nothing else to do. I had my studio lighting down here, which is battery powered. And me and my wife were just kind of uh, going through VHS, deciding, you know, if it's worth keeping, if it's not. And um, I'm usually not very good at uh, making a decision if I if it's something that I want to keep or not. And so she was helping me kind of go through that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I know this video is a little shorter than normal. Uh, I've just been really excited to go over everything that is like new and changing. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, you know, make my collection something that I can really be proud of. And so um, thank you again for all the support. Uh, I love reading your guys' comments. Uh, let me know what you guys think about all the different changes over there. Uh, if it's, you know, if it, you think it's a good move, not good move, I don't know. Um, but if you haven't yet, I do have an Instagram. Uh, you can go find me there. It's at Kyle's Movie Collection. And uh, I'd love to hear from you to shoot me a message if uh, you want to say hi. And um, if you want, uh, you're always free to subscribe. I really appreciate everyone who has uh, subscribed to the channel, um, but don't feel obligated to. So uh, thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.